There's supposed to be a voice in Zambia. There's supposed to be Elijah in Zambia. But they have been bought and put inside the pocket of PF. Or they are afraid. Who would deliver the people of Zambia if you are quiet? Joshua chapter 1. From verse 3 to 9. God said to Joshua, be strong. girl from Zambia. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that each time I upload a videos, you will be notified that Gelawapa Z has uploaded a video. Good evening. Good evening. I want you to know uh, that I'm here. I want to speak. Listen, you are watching this broadcast now and you have just joined us right now. Share this video. Share this video in all your groups on your wall. Let people know that Sia One is live because I want to address something that is very, very important. I want to address something that is very, very important. Share this video in all your groups. If you are in, in 20 groups, if you are in 40 groups, share it. The thing I want to say tonight is very, very important for everyone to hear it. Share it in all the groups. Share the video. Even share the video on your wall. Let your friends know that Sia One is life. And Sia One want to say something. And, uh, and uh, uh, if you are watching this video now, you know that you don't like the truth. <laughs> you don't like the truth. You are, you, are, you, are, you are allergic to truth. I want you to please leave the broadcast. If you are watching, you are a cadre. You know that when I start talking now, you will start insulting me. I want you to leave the broadcast because I don't want you to insult me. I want to speak for the people, not for myself. I want to talk for the people, not for myself. I want to speak to the people that don't have voice. I want to be a voice to the voiceless. I want to be a, a, I want to be a, 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 a a voice that will speak to people that don't have voice. So if you know that you are among the people, you are a cadre, you are a cadre. You know that when I start talking about the corruption of your party, you start panicking, you start insulting me. I want you to leave this page. The broadcast tonight is not for everyone. The broadcast tonight is for people who are tired of being cheated. People who are tired of being lied to. People who are tired of being taken advantage of people who are tired of corruption these are the people that are supposed to be watching me jagabans people that want to hear the truth if you know that you are a kada maybe a prophetic kada you are too righteous when i speak something here you want to quote bible to challenge the truth leave the broadcast you know that you are coming from a political party especially pf in Zambia, leave the broadcast. This is not for you. Unless you are ready to change. Unless you are willing to hear the truth and you change. Because the scripture says that you shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. So if you are watching, you know that you don't support the truth. You don't think with your brain. You think as a cadre. You think with your tummy. You don't think with your head. Leave the broadcast. This broadcast is not for you. This broadcast... It's only for people that want to hear the truth. Only for people that want to hear fight. Only for, for people that want to 
the people that want to know what is going on. Where are our leaders leading us to? This is for people. These are the people that I want to be here to hear what I will say. Apart from that, the rest of you can go. As you can see, this is my page. I have the right to speak what I want here on my page. I also said it before, and I will continue saying it. Whatever I've said about the leadership there in Zambia, if they feel that Sia One has lied against us, if they feel that Sia One has spoken against us, if they feel that Sia One has spoken has offended us, I want them to take me to court. I want them to take me to court for me to go and talk what I know. I don't fear. I don't know what fear looks like. I am somebody that can never be intimidated. I am somebody that can never be corrupted. I am somebody that don't know what fear looks like. So if you feel to say, okay, this one has spoken something that offended me. Personally, you as an individual, you have the right to take me to court. Any country of your choice, I am going to come and they will talk it there. If you also feel that I have offended your party or I have offended your leadership, you have the right to take me to court. Any country of your choice, let me go and prove what I'm talking about. Listen, all of you that are following me here in this page, one thing you must know is that I don't lie. I don't know what lie looks like. I'm not a liar. I don't lie. When I tell you this is how it is, this is how it is. When I tell you this is how it is, this is how it is. I don't joke also. I'm not a joker. When I tell you that this is how it is, believe me, that is how it is. When I tell you this thing happened, believe me, it happened. If it didn't happen, take me to court. Let me go there and prove it. Any country of your choice, I am going to come and they prove it so those of you that are here you know that you're a cadder you know that what i'm going to say is going to is going to enjoy you it's going to enjoy your political party before i start talking please leave the broadcast leave the broadcast and i don't talk to cowards i don't talk to people that don't have vision i don't talk to brainwashed people whether in when i'm talking about religion or when i'm talking about a country or when i'm talking about a, a, a politics i don't talk about rubbish i don't i don't i don't talk to people that don't have brain i talk to people who are wise enough to understand what i'm talking about someone is saying is this broad, is this live broadcast yes this is live broadcast my heart beat for Sia One. That is Ngandu Yolanda. God bless you. What if Sia One was the son of BMW? I don't understand what that, that thing means. Somebody can explain to me. Kada, start moving out now. Of course, if you're a political Kada, especially from PF, what I'm going to say tonight is going to enjoy you so badly. So leave the broadcast. I don't want you. I don't talk to stupid people because I'm not stupid. I don't talk to people who are not wise. I talk to intellectuals. Several times when you look at, uh, when I post something on, on my Facebook page, anytime you see the bad comments there, just click the profile and see that the people that are insulting me are people that I'm fighting for. They are poor. Government is taking advantage of them. Their leaders are taking advantage of them. And then I'm talking for them. I'm speaking for them. I am the reason why many of you are going through what you are going through. I want to liberate you. And many of you come and start insulting me. Many of you tell me, talk about your country. I don't have a country. I'm an African. I can talk anything I want to talk because I'm, I'm an African. And I have freedom of speech. Many of you in Zambia, the problem is that you have been so intimidated so intimidated that you don't even know your right you want to talk they will tell you zikta is going to arrest you arrest you for what you have freedom of speech you have power to talk don't be intimidated so long as you are standing on the truth and saying the right thing they can't arrest you even if there is even police they are aware of what i'm talking about you can't step on somebody's right because somebody is talking 
Many people are saying, see, one day I'm going to arrest you. Arrest you for what? I know my right. I know my right. If there is, if I've offended anybody, you take me to court. We go to court and fight it out. Then I talk more. I will even talk now with evidence. What rubbish are you talking about? You'll be arrested. Don't be afraid of their arrest. If, if you have to say something, say it. If you die, you die. If you perish, you perish. It's better to die a fighter than to live as a coward. Believe me, it's better to die fighting than to live as a coward. So those of you that are watching me right now, those of you that are watching this broadcast, you know that you are a cadre. They have bought you talk time to come here and insult me as I start talking. Please leave the broadcast. Many a time I don't respond to you because Godfather always warns us. Don't use bullets made for elephant on beds. I look at your thing, I ignore because I'm not looking for you. I'm not after you. I know the people I'm targeting. Mm -hmm. So if they have already bought bundles for you to come and comment rubbish here, I want you to leave the broadcast because I want to talk. Like I said, if you have just joined now, you have just joined us right now, I want you to let me know if uh, the sound is clear. Are you able to hear me? Because I want to say something important to them. Something very, very important. Something tangible. Are you able to hear me? Are you able to hear me? Is the sound clear? If you have just joined me now, you know that you're, you are suffering. The government has totally destroyed your country. You know that many people need to hear this message. Many people need to know what is going on in Zambia. I want you to share the broadcast. Share it now. Share it now as we start. Share it now as we start. Tell me if the if it's clear. Tell me if it's clear. Tell me if the sound is clear. I I I, I thank God that uh, many people have joined me from all all over the world, not just Zambia but all over the world. Already we are having over five thousand four hundred people that have joined already, willing to listen to the truth that I'm about to say. Glory. You are loud and clear. Perfect. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Mabwe Chawe say, watching from Zambia, nice t-shirt. T-shirt is perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wise man CFM. How are you, my son? Thank you. Guinea Bena, the sound is very clear, but the picture is not, is right to left. I don't understand that. I'm sorry if the picture, I don't, tell me if the picture is okay. Mm -hmm. CR1, yes, loud and clear. It's Agrippa Banda. Thank you for that. Thank you. Perfect. What? Yesterday, I took a nap. I said, let me sleep a bit because I worked a lot yesterday. I was doing donation mm -hmm. and helping the people that don't have food. When I came back here, it, I slept on my bed. I slept around, uh, around 12. Around 3. By the time I was waking up, my WhatsApp was filled with messages. Hundreds upon hundreds of messages from Zambia. Each message I open is talking about the young man that died in accident, Ian. The, the, the medical officer that died in accident. Each message I open is talking about somebody's asking about Godfather. I am going to be answering your questions. Any question that you are going to ask me, I'm going to be answering them. Immediately, I finish talking. You must pay attention to what I want to say. Each message I open, I see that everybody is talking about Ian, Ian. I don't know. Who is Ian? Who is this Ian? And then I went to watch Dog. And I read from Watchdog. Ian is a clinical officer. I went to the other page, Kosue, of Kosue, the other page of Zambia. I read he's a clinical officer. And then they said, this young man died in an accident. And this young man, those of you that are watching me from outside the country, all over the world, listening to what is happening in Zambia. I'm not only talking to Zambians. I want the world to see the kind of corrupt leadership that is in Zambia. How did this boy die? 
after reading it from Watchdog and reading it from Coswell. This young man was coming from another province, going to Lusaka to deliver COVID samples. <laughs> to deliver COVID samples. And along the way, they had an accident and he died. Now, when I saw it, I didn't believe it. I know that I can trust Watchdog with information and the news in Zambia. They have proven to be the only new, only, only uh, news agency now, or media news agency that is telling us the truth, together with Coswell. I read the thing, but I was, I was skeptical. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe what I read from Watchdog. I didn't believe what I read from Coswell. I didn't believe it. But a few minutes later, I saw a notification. The Minister of Health was doing a, a, a damage control. He was doing a press briefing. He was briefing the nation. And he said that it's true that this young man, Ian, has died. And he was bringing sample, sample of COVID, COVID materials from another uh, a province to Lusaka. And the, the, along the way, he died. The minister was saying this. Minister of Health was saying this. He said along the way, the young man had an accident and he died. And the minister said, this is normal. The minister said, this is normal. My concern is not about the death of this young man. Anybody can die. Whether they are bringing it with a helicopter, they are bringing it with a private jet, whether they are bringing it even if in a presidential motorcade, when it is your time to die, you will die. That's why, that's not my concern. I'm not concerned about how the, 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 the young man died or what. What I'm concerned is that how on earth can a government that already understands what coronavirus is allow a clinical officer to carry the sample and enter inside the bus that is congested and loaded with people. How on earth, you are watching me now, even if you are a cadre, a cadre, there are cadres, I thank God today, many cadres in Zambia are waking up, they are even the ones sending me messages of what is happening in Zambia here. But I want to ask you a question, even if you are a cadre, you don't use your brain, your brain is scattered. Your brain is no longer working. How can this COVID, this uh, coronavirus we are talking about, is what is killing thousands of people all over the world? How can a government allow a clinical officer to carry the same thing entering a bus that is loaded with people? My question is this. Is, okay, if that be the case, why are you now beating people for social distancing? Because you are beating people from, from, from social distancing and you are bringing corona to them. <laughs> you are telling them, run away from corona. They run away from corona. Then you carry corona and follow them where they run to. The first thing I want to tell everybody that is in that bus, let me tell you something. If you are in Zambia and a Zambian and they have used your brain, wake up. All of you that were in that bus that had an accident, you must sue the government. Sue them for negligence. It's not possible. It has never happened anywhere on earth where everyone is running away from corona and the government is ca secretly carrying something that is suspected of corona and meeting the people in the bus i was watching i was watching the 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 the, the, the minister the minister was saying it's normal what what a very stupid man indeed sometimes it's good for a fool to talk 
so that you can see that they are full. Sometimes when they keep quiet, these are the people I thought to say, okay, this guy is a technocrat. He doesn't know anything. How can a minister say that it's normal for you to carry COVID material? In many other countries, in many other countries, today, those things are being escorted. In an ambulance, they don't even allow anybody to get close to them. You allow your officer to carry it and put it in a car where there are so many people. And the president and the, and the, and the minister is saying uh, uh, it's normal. Uh, and uh, we have packaged it very well. You are mad. You are an idiot. You don't have brain. You are packaged it very well. What kind of packaging are you going to do? Okay, now, accident has happened. When accident happens, the greatest metal in the car, the greatest metal in the car gets broken. And people die inside the car. What type of thing did you use to package that COVID material? Those COVID sample, what type of thing did you use to package it? Guaranteeing that even if there is an accident, it will not break. Did you use an iron to cover it? Even if you use iron, when accident happens, iron breaks. How on earth will you allow such a thing to happen? It's so painful because the minister came and defended it. I was not even going to talk about it. I was going to let it sleep. But the fact that the minister had the God to say it is normal for people to be loaded together with COVID suspected material. It means, minister, you are dull. It means you are not wise. What has Zambian people done to you, PF government? What have they done to you that you want to, you want, okay, if, as if that is not enough. The minister is saying, no, no, uh, because there was no car to transport it. There was no car to transport it. You are telling me that you don't have a car. Minister of Health, you don't have a car. But under your nose, under your big nose, under your big nose, your government purchased ambulances. Your government purchased fire trucks. Each one of them was costing 1 million US dollars. People from all over the world. I'm not only talking to Zambians. Let the whole world see what is going on in Zambia. Let me show you something. A government that claimed that they love the people. A government that claimed that they love the poor. A government that claimed that they are for the people. Look at what they purchased. This is what they purchased. The ambulance they purchased. <laughs> Scania ambulance. <laughs> this is not Mercedes Benz. This is not Volvo ambulance. This is Scania. <laughs> Scania ambulance. The government of Zambia agreed that they purchased this thing. This thing, they, they said they purchased it for 1 million US dollars. Let me show you again. People from all over the world, they said they purchased this thing. Each one of them is costing 1 million US dollars. America, look at, uh, look at what they are doing with your, the money that you are sending for funding. <laughs> London, China, see the people you are sending money to. Look at what they are buying. They are saying this thing is 1 million US dollars. <laughs> and the thing is falling up and down like a wall of Jericho. <laughs> it's falling up and down like one of Jericho. Chilufia Chitalo, I want to ask you a question. If you really love the people of Zambia, like the way Sata loved the poor people of Zambia, what would have stopped you from not buying this useless wheelbarrow you call fire fire trucks? And buy enough vehicles for people that are working in the hospitals. 
If you really, if really, really, you love the people of Zambia, Chilufia, Chilufia Chitalu. I thought you were wise. You are not wise, my brother. There is nothing there in your brain. Nothing, nothing, nothing. For you to open your mouth and say it's normal, and because there was no vehicle, how many vehicles was one million dollar going to purchase for the people? If you really love the people. If you really love the people of Zambia, President Sata love the people. President Sata love the poor people. If you really love them, you are, go you are not going to buy this fire truck for one million US dollars. I priced it here in South Africa before I started talking. Each and every one of them is not more than 150,000 US dollars. Where is the remaining of the money? You have pocketed it and now you are saying there is no vehicle for people that are working in the hospital. Minister, are you okay? Minister, minister, do, what has Zambian people done to you, PF? They don't deserve what you are doing to them now. They voted you in because they thought you were coming to fight for them. They, they, they removed MMD because they thought that you came for the people. The people that you are supposed to fight for are the people that you are eating. They are the people that are dying. They are the people that are being sacrificed. Those of you who are saying the minister is, uh, is working hard. All of you that are saying that you are very stupid. You are very stupid. You, you are not wise. If you open your mouth and say Chita Luchilufia is, is working hard and is, is, is controlling things very, very well, you don't have wisdom. You have been brainwashed. You have been brainwashed. What does he do? A government like government of Zambia now, where everything has gone wrong, what are you supposed to be doing? You are not even supposed to say there are no vehicles to transport COVID materials. You are supposed to cut your salaries as ministers and buy vehicles if there is no man. Because you are not doing anything. Chilufia Tile, the only uh, Chilufia, Chilufia, what, what, Chilufia, uh, uh, what is, do you call yourself? The, the Minister of Health. The only thing you do is to wake up in the morning, comb your head, dress well, iron your clothes, and to come and appear on, on camera. Camera freak person. Come and appear on camera and start talking rubbish. And people are saying, he's doing well, he's handling it well. How is he handling it well? If Chilufia, the minister of uh, of what? If the, if if that minister, if his son was a medical doctor, he was not going to allow his son to carry such a thing in a public bus. Few 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 weeks ago, there was a complaint that the the people that are fighting Corona in Zambia are getting affected. The nurses are getting affected. I thought. You would have woken up and, and you would have woken up and said, ah, what is happening? Let me protect my people. Everybody cried. You close your heart and you allow a clinical officer to go and die just like that. Okay, what if that thing was open because accident happens, that thing breaks. And the, those samples get to sprinkle all over, get to spread all over and touch people all over. What are you going to say? Eh? Chilufia. Chilufia. What are you going to say? You are a wicked man. You are wicked. You even have the God to say there was no vehicles. There was no hospital vehicle. I don't blame you. Of course. All you stupid politicians in Zambia, you don't care. How can a whole district be having few vehicles? Because you don't go to those hospitals. When you are sick, you fly to India. When you are sick, you fly to USA. When you are sick, you fly to Spain. You get yourself healed. Using the money of the poor. All those money that they are, they are donating now, what are you doing with them? America, you are watching me. The whole of Africa, you are watching me. Even those people that are donating the money, there, there is over 7,800 people that are watching me. Even the president and his people, all of you are watching. All those money that, are, that have been donated, what are you doing with them? You want to steal them, to continue coming to South Africa to build a house, 
to continue coming to South Africa to buy properties. Buying properties in Switzerland. Sending your money outside the country. Let me tell you something today. Those money that you are stealing from the poor and banking for your children. Your children will be useless. Your children, children will be useless. I curse them today in the name of Godfather. Your children are going to be prostitutes. Your children are going to be porn stars. Your children are going to be useless. All those money that you are banking for them, other people will eat it on their behalf. You want people to go and die. Look at that, that young man has died. Look at him. That young man has died for nothing. That young man has died for nothing. For nothing. That young man has died for nothing. Zambia is the sixth highest copper producer in the world. All those money, what are you doing with them? Eh? Many of you are watching me. You say, ah, see, I want to talk useless. Ah, see, I want don't, don't have influence. Ah, see, I want to go. Has, has your president reached 7,800 people watching him the same time before? Has he reached it? Those of you don't even know what is going on. This thing happened, I think, two or three days ago. Your president was quiet. Eddie Galungu was quiet. He didn't say anything about it. Yesterday, he was busy posting things. Posting things that does not make sense. Immediately, he saw that I've posted that I'm coming live to address this issue. He ran to go and condemn the act. He said it's, it's, it's a negligence. He had to take Sia one to, to make noise before the president go. And if those of you that are watching me, you think that Sia one is joking. After this broadcast, I want you to check the time I posted something about the death of this young man and the, what your president wrote. Immediately he saw that I'm coming to talk. He went and he wrote, we are sorry for the death of this person. We, we are this, we are that. We are sorry. I am going to, I am going to ask people to investigate. I'm going to ask the security wing together with the healthcare to investigate. What do you want to investigate? Uh, President, Sir, Eddie Galungo, this is not you. Believe me, I know that you have changed, but the change I'm seeing in you now is beyond what I thought was going to happen. You have changed drastically. You no longer have the heart for the people. You were crying when Sata died. And that your tear touched me. When Sata was being buried. When Sata was brought to Hero Stadium. You were crying. Everybody was crying with you. We thought that you are humble. We don't know that you are a lion. You are willing to open your mouth and swallow your own children. Because of politics. Greediness will kill all of you that are stealing from the poor in Zambia. Greediness is going to kill you. Greediness is going to kill your children. Everything you have stolen from the poor, banking it outside, you will not live to eat it. Your children and your children's children are cursed. They will be prostitutes. They will be porn stars. They will bring disgrace to you. Nonsense. He's saying, he's saying, I, I, I'm going to tell my the, the security wing to investigate it. So we have heard those things long time ago. Your security wing, they are there. They are failing to investigate who the owner of the 48 houses are. Who the owners are or who the owners is. Where are the owners? Those people are investigating. How many years is it going to take to find the real owners of those houses? These stupid fire trucks that is falling up and down like wall of Jericho, like something that is undergoing deliverance. What has your security done? What investigation have they done? Nothing. How about the one who killed that young that young girl in Unza, Vespa? Those people that you have assigned to investigate, what have they done? Stop intimidating us with investigation it doesn't go anywhere you don't even need investigation number one we know that your 
your your minister of health is aware that that guy carried the COVID material in a public bus. We know. You know it. Everyone knows. Even the minister defended it, meaning he knows. Fire him. You don't need investigation. Enough of investigation. I am going to constitute in, in, in inquiry. I'm going to ask my security wing to investigate. What type of investigation are you talking about? You have investigated. Who killed Vespa? Up to today, nothing. How about Ruth Mbandu? Up to today, nothing. Dora Celia, if Saka was alive today, was supposed to be snoring inside the prison. Dora Celia was going to be snoring inside the prison. Because Sata died. Everything scattered. Sata died. Everything got messed up. And they are saying, I'm going to investigate. 2017. The president of Malawi fired his minister because of a mess gate standard, scandal. A mess that was staking. When Zambian people were starving, looking for food, looking for shima, looking for food to eat, Mez was leaving Zambia and going to Malawi. The president of Malawi fired the minister that was involved in that corruption. Why is Dora Celia still in your government? And you are talking about investigation. What are you investigating? Are you okay, Mr. President? Do you really love the people of Zambia? What has happened to you, Edgar Lungu? What has happened to you? Eh? 2017. If you are a good man, if you really love the poor people, Dora Celia was not supposed to be in your cabinet. Who sold Zamtel? Eh? Who sold Zamtel? That woman was supposed to be snoring in prison now. He was supposed to be doing, oh, uh, in prison, not gallivanting all over government and making important decisions. These are the people that destroyed their MMD. They have come to PF to destroy it again. And you are entertaining it. Are you okay? Eh? Are you okay? How about Rupia Banda? President Rupia Banda? Eh? Sata. Sata's government sees these properties. Today, all things are given back to him. It's gallivanting. Free of charge. It's gallivanting. Free of charge. On top of that, you even carried money. I think 5 million US dollars to build a retirement house for Pia Banda. Of all the wealth he acquired when he was president. And you call yourself a president of the poor. What type of president are you? People are dying. Your minister is saying they are dying because they don't have transportation. Eddie Galungu, how can your minister and you yourself purchase fire trucks for one million US dollars? Part of those money was supposed to be at least every district was supposed to have at least five or six cars, five or six cars, five or six cars. But because you and your government. You hate poor people. You hate the poor. You like to see the poor suffer. You like to see the poor being oppressed. You are there in state house. There is fan all over you. Electricity is there 24 hours. But poor people that voted you into power, they are suffering. They are dying in road accident. Listen, if you really, really love Zambians, if you really, really love Zambians, you would have fired Dora Celia out of the government. These are the people that are deceiving you. You would have fa- today. You, should, you you cannot even say I have consulted the team to investigate. Investigate what you know already. Who do you want to investigate? Huh? We already know who is responsible. If Tilufia Tali didn't, if Tilufia Chitalu, if he denied it. If he said no, I am I don't know what happened at least. But he came publicly and said it's normal. We have been doing it. And you are saying we are investigating. What are you investigating? Eh? How many this investigation you are doing for 48 houses up to today in Zambia? People you are watching me from all over the world. 
There are over 8,500 people that are watching me right now. The whole world is watching me. There are 48 houses in Zambia, allegedly, that does not have owner. And government is failing to produce the owner. Those are investigations. If you love the people of Zambia, the killers of Vespa, that young child that they wasted, that child would have been the breadwinner of the family. That child, we are not paying for his school fees. The parents, we are paying for the school fees. And they wasted it like that. What did you say? I am investigating. Today, who are the killers? Nobody knows. And today, you want to intimidate us with investigation. You are investigating nothing. Your president was not willing to talk. Zambian people, your president was not even willing to comment on the case of Iyan until he saw that I posted and he knew that I'm coming live today. He went there to pretend like it has pained him. If it pained you, that guy didn't die yesterday. You would have written already and said, this, this has pained me. Just because you heard that Siawan was coming live as a president, coward. You went and, 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 and wrote rubbish. We are sorry for the death of this person. I have considered investigation. What are you investigating? Who killed Ruth Mbandu? Eh? I was still in Zambia when that thing happened. Who are the killers? You investigate nothing. Your security wings, they are doing nothing. Majority of them are cadres. Majority of them are cadres. Few months ago, I was I was still in Zambia. One million kwacha from Togate disappeared. Up to today, we don't know where it went. You are you are considered investigation. What are they doing? President Edgar Lungu. Let me tell you something. These few uh, months that you have to stay in power, I want you to go and make peace with the people. Because I have never seen a leadership that is corrupt like yours. In your leadership, everyone is ready to steal. With impunity. They don't care for the poor. Anywhere Sata is today, Sata is standing in his grave. Sata is crying. And Sata spirit, Sata spirit will haunt all of you that are mistreating the poor. People are suffering. People are crying every day. This case of coronavirus, every country is shaking. You, you, must, you must watch CNN. When people see, even if, even me, when you go to public and cough, <coughs> just like this, people scatter. Because everybody is afraid of this. But imagine people carrying the COVID material, suspected coronavirus samples putting it where there are people loaded all of you that were in that car i want you to sue the government sue them for negligence all those money that they have stolen they must pay you from them i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you all those money that's still you they, they are, some of you are watching me now you 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 look at me you say ah why is see one talking like this it doesn't concern me i am living in a posh house i live a posh life what i have is enough for me i don't fight for myself i want to also make it clear to president hh next year when you become the president if i apply for visa deny me visa i don't want to come to zambia I am telling you, HH, you are watching me. Even if you are not watching me, your people are watching me. If I, I apply for visa, deny me visa. I don't want anything from Zambia. But my people in Zambia are suffering. Thousands of people in Zambia are suffering because of useless leadership. A leadership where the president is saying this is negligence. A leadership where the minister is saying a different thing. It's not negligence. This usually happens. We have been doing it. What type of nonsense is this? Confusion. Everywhere confusion. Everywhere confusion. Everywhere confusion. Everywhere confusion. Everywhere confusion. People are stealing. 
with impunity. People are stealing without even fearing anything. People are stealing without even, they don't care. It is also there in your country where the government say they built a, 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 a toll gate. Toll gate at the cost of $4.5 million. You are watching me from all over the world. You don't know what I'm talking about. Let me show you something a bit, please, quickly. I want to show you something. People who are watching me from London, America, USA, the whole world, they, you don't know what I'm talking about. I want you to see something here. See? The government of Zambia constructed this thing. Look at it. They constructed this thing at the cost of if I'm not mistaken, 4.5 million US dollars. Look at it. <laughs> sorry. sorry. <laughs> 4.1 million US dollars. South Africa constructed this thing. This is 200 and something thousand US dollars. Look at the standard of the work that was done in South Africa. Look at all electric. If you have been to South Africa, you will see the standard of the things they do. Look at all electric. All electric. 200 and something thousand US dollars. In Zambia, PF government said that they spent 4.5 million US dollars to con construct that uh, toilet door. Eh? 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 Eddie Galung, is this you? <laughs> My brother. <laughs> brother Eddie <laughs> Is this you? Or there is something that happened? Eh? If people talk, they say you are talking. If people talk, they say you are talking. Why should... Because there is no one talking for them. You have intimidated all of them. Eh? If they talk, you want to arrest them with the police. And the, your people are sending me a message. We are going to arrest you. You are idiots. You are fools. You are going to arrest you, me. See your one. We are. Eh? You, you are local champions. That arrest is what you can keep in Zambia there. Those foolishness does not cross border. It doesn't cross border. Poor people are suffering. Eh? <laughs> Poor people are suffering. Edi Galungu, you are watching, or your people are watching. Wake up. From tomorrow, even as you are watching this thing, think about it. If Sata was alive, is this what you would have loved the Zambia to become? Sata was for the poor. Sata was for poor people. Sata loved poor people. But today, you are pressing the poor people. How can your government, how can your government allow a, 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 a medical practitioner to carry COVID material in a public bus? Eh? Eh? All those millions that have been donated, all those millions. Zambian, Zambian people, the problem with you is that you forget easily. Believe me, you forget easily. There are many of you that are praising Dorasilia. There are many of you that are praising Dorasilia. Many of you are, are praising Chilufia, Chilufia Chitalu. Many of you are praising Edigalungu. I said it the other day. If Sata was alive by now, Zambia would have developed. Zambia would have developed. Zambia would have been a developed because there, there is money in Zambia. I was there. Every, every land in Zambia has natural resources. There is emerald in Zambia. There is, there is gold in Zambia. There is, there is copper in Zambia. What are you doing with them? The money is coming. Few people in PF are the people pocketing it and putting it inside their pockets. This is not what Satan wanted. 
This is not what Sata prayed for. This is not what Sata campaigned for. Sata campaigned for different things. Eddie Galungu, you and your people are doing another thing altogether. When will you wake up and feel pity for your for the for the children of the poor? The people that woke up very early in the morning to go and vote for you, to go and vote off, vote, vote, vote out Arubi. When we are voting out Arubi, we, we thought that we are we are doing the right thing, not knowing that we are jumping from frying pan into fire. Now everybody can steal. A government where people have the courage to go and start digging gold and selling gold. Selling gold. Cadas. These are not these are not government ministries. These are not ministers. These are cadas digging gold and selling gold. Everyone is at liberty to steal. Poor people are suffering. Poor people are dying. You were beating people for gathering in bars. You and your police, Kadari police, you were beating people, you were humiliating people. I saw one of the posts where your police officer had to use his boot on a woman like this. And people were clapping for Boma and Lusambo and those other stupid people. You were beating them. Now they have run away from coronavirus and you are carrying coronavirus to them. Let the whole world see that the money that they are sending to Zambia is being looted. The most corrupted government in the history of Zambia is what Zambia is experiencing now. The most corrupted. The investigation. If the president of Malawi fired the minister in Malawi in 2007 because of the mess gate standard, what are you still doing with Dara Slia in your cabinet? If you are not, if you are not corrupt. If you are not corrupt. Yeah? Eh? 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 If let if you are if you really love the people, Edgar Lungu, if you really love your people, if you really love your people, I know that you are watching me and your people are watching me, your family they are watching. If you really love your people, what is Dorasley doing in your cabinet? Was she not going to court for the sale of Zamtel? How about the Mesgate, Mesgate scandal? What is she doing there? PF was supposed to be party for poor people. It's not supposed to be party for thieves. Those people that looted Zambia during Rupia Banda, those are the people that you have brought back to rule. The people that fought with Sata, all of them are out. All of them are out. Harry Kalaba out. This one out. All of them that fought to remove thieves, all of them are out. You, and you have recruited those people that we have fired from the government. Are you okay? Are you okay? I feel sorry for the people of Zambia. It's not for me. I will never come to Zambia. I will never come to Zambia. I will never come to Zambia. It's not for me. I'm not coming to Zambia. I'm never coming to Zambia. I'm fighting for the poor. You closed Prime TV. You thought you have closed our mouths. No. We are going to talk. In fact, by the time this COVID is over, you will see fire. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You don't want people to talk. When people talk, you harass them. You arrest them. Yeah? Your people are intimidating me. You are going to be arrested. Cowards. 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 You are going to arrest you. Where? How? Hmm? You, you, you take advantage of timidity of Zambian people to intimidate them. You tell them sit down, they sit. You tell them stand up, they stand. What rubbish. Huh? A minister having the guts to say uh, 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 it's normal. It's normal. We have been carrying. We have been doing it. We have been doing it. Why? For a minister to say there was no vehicle, the vehicle was busy, then we use this vehicle. It means they don't care. If they care for the people, if they really, really care for the people, 
He will never utter that rubbish from his mouth. He will never say it. The minister was going to take responsibility and say, I'm sorry for what has happened. One ambulance, one of those fire trucks you bought for one million would have purchased at least 10 or 11 cars for the people that are working. You don't even care for your workers. Because you don't go to such hospitals. Hmm? You don't. You don't. You don't, you don't go to those hospitals. You don't care for them. If you care for them, in fact, if you care for them, you would have gone there and know that they have only one vehicle or two vehicles and they need more vehicles. Those vehicles are more important than those fire uh, trucks that you bought at one million US dollars. If you love the people of Zambia, if you really, really love the people of Zambia, at this point in time, ministers are actually supposed to cut their salaries so that they can, they can increase the salaries of the nurses and the doctors. Believe me, if you really, really love Zambia, you can, all the ministers would have cut their salaries. All the people that are working, all the politicians would have cut their salaries and increased the salaries of doctors and nurses, those that are working in the hospitals. Those are the people that are supposed to be having good salaries now. And you are telling me Chilufia Chitalu is working. What is he working? To wake up and dress and go and stand on camera and read book. That's what you call working. Yeah? That's what you call working. That's what you call working. Zambian people wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. All of us have made a mistake that we, we regret. We have regretted. It has pained everyone. It has pained everyone. Poor people are crying. Everybody's crying. Anywhere you go, this problem. Anywhere you go, this problem. Anywhere you go, this problem. The most disorganized political party in Africa today. Disorganized, everybody is fighting for their pocket. Everybody, even in this COVID where every country is shaking, everyone wants to be careful. Government is still collecting. And you say you love the people. Which people do you love? Every morning, the president will go and post prayer on his page. And the people say, hey, Amen, hey, Amen, hey, humble leader. Humble leader, where? If you're a humble leader and you love the people, you will know that Chilufia Chitalu has put lives at risk. Being a minister of health, he has put life at risk. Fire him. You don't need to investigate anything. Your investigation does not go anywhere. Nobody trusts your investigation. Not even a baby born today. Once you say, I, am, I have ordered my people to investigate, that is the end of the case. That is the end of the case. If you love them, I, I, was, I was also saying the other day, I was saying the other day, the, 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 the president went and posted a hospital that he built. <laughs> Go to his page and see the, 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 the so-called hospital. And he was, he was actually writing something good about it. Ask your president, how much was the cost of that hospital? If you don't collapse, then you know that I'm joking. The kind of money that Zambia is making. Hello? If today, today, they are investigating people that stole gold from the mine in Northwest. And that gold is worth 30 million kwacha. 30 million kwacha. Imagine how blessed Zambia is. A country blessed with so many natural resources, but its people are suffering. The president is drinking tea, wearing expensive suits. He doesn't care. He wake up in the morning and he post things on Facebook and he post prayer. And people will say, our president loves God. Our president loves Jesus. Our president is a God-fearing. You are idiots. Don't bring religion to read things. These are written. People are crying. People are suffering. People are going through hell. 
He was not going to speak about Ian until he saw that I was coming to speak it tonight. That's why he went to put the blame on Chitalo, thinking that I will only blame Chitalo. No! You, the head of the leadership is rotten. That is why everyone is doing what they want. They don't fear you. Imagine, Sata fired Winter Kabimba. Winter that everybody was thinking that this guy is the Jagaban of PF. Everybody was afraid of him. Sata fired him. He doesn't, he doesn't tolerate nonsense. Somebody like Chitalo is still there. He's been investigated by ACC, but he's still there in your cabinet. Dorasilia, Mesgate scandal. We don't know how, what has happened. Zamtel selling. We don't know what has happened. How many corrupt leaders are you having in your leadership? And you say you love the poor. What is going on with you? What is going on with you? Zambian people. There is over 8,000 something people that are watching me tonight. It means that you are watching and you are hearing what I'm saying. Wake up from do as I say. You cannot be controlled by it again. That time of do as I say is over. Now you Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And follow me on all social media platforms. It's simply at Lilimotams.